Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. Oh, Seven of Swords, okay. Things have not been, may not be as they seem. Judgment, okay, so um, what was hidden is coming into the light. So whatever this Seven of Swords is referring to, it's, um, it's coming out. We have the Six of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed with a fortune in reverse. The star, Aquarius, we have Sagittarius as well. Cancer with the chariot, and we have the Eight of Swords reversed. What's on the back? Three of Wands. Okay, your person is thinking of you, trying to draw you towards them, manifesting you, and look, we have the King of Cups underneath. I was feeling this that this Queen of Cups, regardless of your sign here, was you, and I, I feel this confirms it. King and Queen of Cups. Your person, what they're, they're saying, the deception here is um, that they ran away from you, or, you know, not that they literally ran screaming down the street, maybe, but they kind of ran from this connection. Um, you know, you might have been at one point, maybe even now, very compassionate, generous, giving, loving, and they pulled away from that and pretended perhaps, I don't care about that. I don't like the way you're being with me. I don't need that. I don't, I'm not receiving it. I don't see this kindness you're extending to me. They're saying that was, that was a deception. Um, and you either had to pull away because enough was enough or they pushed you away through this behavior and uh, now they want you to come back essentially is what i'm seeing here there's a really strong feeling of they feel that they are drawn to you something here is fated but it's almost like i realized it too late because we have the star before the chariot and you see how in the chariot she's looking over at the star so it's almost like this connection came up before they really even understood what on earth was going on or their own feelings here um and now now they want to go in pursuit of the star and that is you but you know it's not like it's like this it's not like they're in the chariot and they can see the star and they're saying okay let me follow it it's like crap you know i have to look backwards because i walked away seven of swords or i pushed you away how do i get back to you here how do i get you to come back to me I feel your person wants you to know they've had something of like an ego death here with the six of wands reversed and judgment it's like a huge huge wake-up call um and they might have realized the ways in which they were blocking this from moving forward so it's not to put it all on them and say you know this you'd, you'd have been together for 50 years right now if it wasn't for them or something like that but um they're at least saying well this is the role that i played okay that seems quite clear. Let's go through. Let's see what else we can see. Let's go in with another deck. So they are definitely watching you. If there is a way for them to watch you, if not, they're thinking about you. They want to revive this um, connection, move things forward. For some of you, I feel like this is a situation where there's absolutely no um, contact between you. If you're watching this and you're saying, but we're actually in a relationship, I feel that within the boundaries and context of your relationship there's something to do with the emotions of your person pulling back being withdrawn emotionally here and maybe that they did this right from the start and it's kind of set the standard that you're both used to and now they want to change things up and they're saying okay well how do we press the reset button at this point you know you've come to know me as this sort of person how do i start being more demonstrative or romantic or emotionally open um, okay, clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for the Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. For some of you, there could have been, if there's another situation, it could be something around a child, like, you know, they had to choose this other situation because a child came along, or they couldn't leave because of a child. Page of Swords reversed. Whatever this other thing is, if they left for another situation, or even if they just pulled away from you, um, because they thought, well, then I get to be the version of myself that's comfortable. It just, whatever this is, it didn't go how they anticipated. So it wasn't more comfortable not opening up. This other potential situation, if that resonates for you, it wasn't better. Ah, look, Seven of Swords, you see? And look at this. Look what's going to happen here. If this person slips, the sword goes straight down their own throat. And, you know, they've just wounded themselves. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. The chariot and the star, please. 
king of swords reverse yeah <laughs> it's this message of like why didn't i speak why didn't i reveal my truth i've just wounded myself i could have spoken words that would have brought us together as the king and the queen of cups and you would have known that the feelings are mutual but um what i did was hold my words back and now we're both suffering it's almost like you suffered first they may have thought well i'm fine you know i'll be okay um but that's not what happened maybe you've sort of um picked up the pieces put yourself back together you know to some degree and you're carrying on you're getting stronger you might feel that you are stronger now and what's happened is that your person here is um is not stronger you know it's not like they just healed and moved on from this connection or relationship um or just were able to accept things the way they were they they kind of realize more and more and more their feelings and that they weren't changing and that they kind of do want to and need to express them okay the star and the chariot so we have the king of swords reversed we have two of wands reversed Oof, they want a new beginning and they really want to undo the choice that they've made for sure it's like you know two of wands i can go that way or that way they chose you know left didn't work out now they want to come back and go right um thing is after going down their first chosen path i think they've created something invested something they've got to sort of almost now undo that or find a way back from that um and to an extent you might be feeling like well i'm not anyone's second best or you know something like that and i don't see that that's how it is but that could definitely be how it feels for you but look they want to come back and offer you something with the ace of pentacles uh, you know a really tangible kind of big exciting offer here something that i think would make you very happy so what are they going to do are they going to do this are they going to take some action try and offer you something because I'm seeing that they realize that they have a tendency to overthink and when they overthink they miss out on opportunities with you here with the ace of cups reversed um and they're not even trying to come back with another cup a new ace of cups they're trying to come back with actually something to ground this okay <clears throat> oh the hierophant yes commitment we have um taurus here and it's interesting this hierophant is on like a chessboard here so this was someone who most likely was kind of manipulative in the past um played games with you I almost feel like games that you didn't even understand you know these are games that they were playing that came from their own experiences their own wounding um games that really only made sense to them and you're like i don't understand your behavior i don't understand what's going on um i don't understand why you're being manipulative like this but yeah anyway <laughs> more positively it seems that there's a real focus on the commitment here three of pentacles yeah working together and we have justice libra okay so they want fairness they want balance here also i feel if there is you know a family on their side and there's a long-term partner or a spouse um that's something that they're wanting to you know they want divorce separation here um okay and you know what normally three of pentacles is working together and these three are working together but they're actually taking chunks out of each other so there is something about this other situation if that applies for you where your person's realizing us being together it's not productive it's not helpful we're probably actually damaging each other by staying in this situation okay um See, are they going to take action is this person going to take the action they want to take towards my view are they going to come in with that ace of pentacles spirit oh nine of cups okay yeah there's a genie here making a wish and the, ge the genie's third eye is open i do feel your person is really wishing for you whether they're intentionally or unknowingly trying to call you in manifest you here they could definitely be dreams of each other as well we have the nine of pentacles so they really want to be single for you whether that's single from a person free of attachment to like low vibrational behaviors habits thoughts the hanged man reverse pisces energy there's they're feeling certainly some time pressure here and we have the six of cups so i'm seeing the the full-blown intention here of your person is absolutely to reconcile with you 
But I'm still not seeing, a, you know, I want a card that shows me, yes, they are going to take action because I feel like they're saying, I intend to. Um, what's on the back? Oh, okay, good. Eight of Wands. Well, there you go. For some of you, yes, you're going to get a message here. Um, communication. Um, I almost feel that what's going on here is like your person right now, if I was to walk up to them in the street and say, are you going to reach out to my viewer? They would be like, at some point, yes. I don't think they know how soon this is coming. They're on a way. You see how this crow is bringing in this note while this person down here, it's like they're focused on the task at hand kind of doing it miserably, not realizing they're going to be hit by inspiration and probably contact you much sooner than they were expecting. Okay, um, let's get some message cards then. We'll start with these ones. Oh, I just glanced up and saw 1111. Okay, gateways, new beginnings, soulmates, twin flames. I've given it so much thought. I know it to be my deepest truth. I choose you. Well, there we go. Judgment, exactly. No matter how things look on the outside, you are my person and I only want you. Please trust me on that. Okay, we have... You haven't heard from me because I'm on vacation or I'm taking a break from everyone and everything to feel refreshed and renewed for a new and strong start with you. So they could be in a bit of a hermit mode. I'm thinking of you right now and it's putting a smile on my face. I can't wait till we're face to face. I always get giddy the closer I get to coming to see you. I'm closer than you think. Yeah, and I think they are closer than they even think. Okay, so. What else, please, Spirit? What else would my viewer's person like to say to my viewer today? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So they want you to be joyful, to be happy, to focus on the positives in your connection, in um, your life in general. Okay, Twin Flames wants to come out for sure. Okay, your passion ignites. And we have, um, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So I think they, they also want you to know that they've been um, prioritizing more feelings, emotions, as a, a, you know, a system of navigation. Um, whereas in the past, maybe they thought, oh, feelings, emotions, what nonsense, you know, very wishy-washy. Whereas actually, you know, if they're balanced with, with logic, they can be very, very useful because if your person had listened in the first place, I think, to their um, emotions, they wouldn't have taken the path that they have. And now they're seeing that and they're like, gosh, there's, there was no need for all of this regret that I now have and having to undo what I've done. So they're taking their emotions more seriously, specifically in relation to using their emotions to understand what's the next best step. You know, as I said, like a system of navigation here. Okay, and this is making me think of that card. I think there are variations of this card in message decks, you know, several of them that says something like, you know, I'm not the person I used to be or something like that. And I do feel that um, they want you to know this. They're not as cold or stoic or um, as imbalanced as they used to be. So if you were really trying to show them emotions, it's Queen of Cups, and they were like, ew, <laughs> you know, stop this, or I can't understand this, I can't receive this, or this makes me uncomfortable. They're not they're not really like that anymore. They see the value. You know, yes, be a King of Swords, but you, you might also want to balance that with a King of um, Cups sometimes as well, or Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Um, okay so let's get you a couple of messages from spirit within this connection so we'll start with the affirmators deck okay so what would you like to say to my viewer please spirit about this connection guidance advice any insight additional information here story of my life as I tell myself myself sorry let me start again as I tell myself the story of what's happening in my life I choose to make it the kind of story where even the tough parts have a sort of inner beauty uh, it's ultimately a happy story where every character no matter how wicked is doing their best and let me tell you it'll be worth it when I earn that Pulitzer Prize for best 
The <laughs> best inner monologue. Oh my god. Cringe. Okay, there we go. Um, and we have a snake trying to charm a mouse. And that's obviously, you know, it seems like a recipe for disaster. So I do feel, you know, that message that came through with this Hierophant card about manipulation. You may have felt that you were this mouse in the past. You know, you were open, giving, trusting. You were the Queen of Cups. Um... You know, you were trying to be nurturing, compassionate here. You had no walls up, no defences with this person. And um, I think they saw that. And not only did they sort of not tread carefully respect that, I think they may have exploited that in the past, unfortunately. So um, this is acknowledgement of what you've been through here, if this resonates. But I think this is also spirit saying it is it is safe at this point because your person has learned from their mistakes if you do want to focus on the positives here it's not that by doing that you're neglecting the red flags which will repeat themselves you already have that wisdom and i don't necessarily see them repeating anyway at this point and you know we have this confirmation from your person as well that they want you to focus on the good the joy okay um let's get one more of these i think I kind of think for some of you, your person may have promised you things that they never delivered on and at the time either had no intention of delivering or um, just knew that they couldn't, they weren't capable of this. Like, for example, maybe a commitment or saying, I'm going to move here or there or I'm going to leave such and such or, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, engagement. Some of you, maybe they were even saying, yes, we'll get married. Anyway, engagement. Today, I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside 7-Eleven. At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. Okay, so encouragement to get out there, change up your, your routine a bit. Um, yeah. Also take pleasure in the small things, the small interactions. Um, it doesn't have to be anything profound, even just the tiniest change, the tiniest, you know, sort of like lame joke shared with someone in a queue somewhere can lift your mood, change, you know, how you're feeling that day. Okay. So let's finish off with a Moonology card and see what your advice is right now. The best advice for you, next best steps in this connection here with your person actually no i'm being told one more thing after this i need to go back into the spread with tarot and ask why this is kind of me being nosy <laughs> why what's going to happen to suddenly inspire your person to make contact sooner than they were expecting um yes it's me being curious but also i do feel you know i need to do this so i think there's more to it but let's do this first Okay, can we get one card from my viewers, please? We have first quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. So your guidance right now to manifest is trust. Yeah, it seems like try and be in, you know, a joyful space as much as possible. Trust, release, focus on the positives. Not because you're just ignoring the negatives, but because you've, you know, you're very aware if, uh, if anything comes up. Um, it's like it's almost going to trigger an alarm system because you've already experienced, you know, some of these things. Um, so you can trust yourself. You're not just trusting the universe. So it's safe to relax into this. So let me go in then and see. Okay, so what's going on here, Spirit? Can you show us what might happen, please, that makes my viewer's person suddenly want to reach out, to engage, to interact sooner than even they had anticipated? Why is it important? to look at this two of cups reverse so if something comes up possibly in their mind that makes them think my goodness you know I, I already know you're the one for me but maybe something significant tangible happens in their day and they're like this is i don't want this anymore i feel you you feel me we have this connection but we're in disconnect and i'm not putting up with that anymore um okay anything else please look at this and then here comes the message page of wands woof the emperor they have leveled up my goodness aries energy aries the action you know action taking energy here okay wow so it might be a small message to start but they are showing up as the emperor which is a uh, really great energy um the emperor can talk about work um, an area in which somebody is very has, has achieved a high level of knowledge, success, wisdom. So it could be something that happens at work for them. It could be something to do with like maybe a shared hobby you have. 
um, shared interest, just something that they they feel very confident in. Um, so something maybe gets their confidence going and at the same time they're like, wow, we see eye to eye with this or this is making me realize now's the time, you're the one, that sort of thing. But this energy is fantastic. Also a divine masculine energy here if you feel that that's relevant for you. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped and I will see you again soon. Bye.